Hello, my young friends. How are you today? You see, I've got someone with me, don't you? Well, in just a moment, we're going to sing a song about, or uh, you probably don't know it. You may just listen to it, but it talks about the seven days of creation. And, you know, God created the earth, and on the seventh day, he rested. Well, I want you thinking about your favorite things in God's creation. It might be sunshine playing outside. It might be plants. You may have a special friend like I do. This is Andy. She's my new little pup. Well, I got her back in March. She's not too new, but she's just um, eight months old. Just turned eight months old. And so she's something that I am very thankful for every day. And so I want um, y'all to be thankful for any pets that you have, your friends, because all of us were created by God. And so I want everybody, I want everybody to be really thankful for those pets that they love and that love them so very much. And uh, I guess that's about it. But before we... Um, uh, before we get into our story and sing our song, let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day, and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue. Day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Whoa. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made On day number five, God made birds and fish, dolphins and whales and things that go squish. On day number six, God made animals and bugs, foxes and cubs, all for us to hug. Whoa. Whoa. On day number six, God also made man. He said it was good and part of his plan. On day number seven, God stopped. To rest, he saw what he made, it was his best to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six.
In the beginning, there was God. The earth was empty and dark. God looked over the surface of the world. It was time for something to happen. Let there be light. And the earth became light. I shall call the light day and the darkness night. And so there had been darkness and then light. And that was the world's very first day. Now, God was just getting started. The next thing to do was to make the sky above the world and to fill the sky with clouds. And that was the second day of the world. On the third day, God separated the water from the dry land. God made all kinds of things to put on the land. There were rocks and mountains, valleys, deserts, and beaches. There were big islands and little islands. There were oceans and seas, rivers and lakes. But there was still more to come on the third day because God wasn't done yet. It was time to make all the plants. God made tall trees and short bushes, vines, ferns, leaves and flowers. God gave all the flowers a different size, color, shape, and smell. And all the grasses and plants and trees that make seeds and fruits were made on the third day too. On the fourth day, God made a brilliant light in the sky called the sun to light up the day. And a silvery one called the moon to add some light to the nighttime. And as a special touch, God added billions of twinkling stars to the night. On the fifth day, God made some creatures to live in this beautiful world. There were birds, and more birds. and more birds. And in the rivers and oceans and seas and lakes, God made fish. And the oceans were full of all sorts of amazing creatures. And 
that was the end of the fifth day. But there was still a lot more for God to do. On the sixth day, it was time to make the rest of the animals. There were so many animals to make. Big animals, and small animals. There were spotted animals, and horned animals. God's animals was beautiful. Now, on this sixth day, God did something else that was very important. God created the first man. And that man was called Adam. Then God blew the breath of life right into Adam. Where am I? Welcome to the world, Adam. Who are you? I am God. Look around you. All the plants of the earth and all their seeds and all their fruits, I give them to you. And all the animals, you have power over them as well. Everything is yours to use, to care for, and protect. God looked over everything and was happy. And on the seventh day, God rested. Ah, it is very good. <laughs> now, God wanted Adam to live in the most wonderful place that could ever be. So God planted a beautiful garden for Adam to live in. It was called the Garden of Eden. God made a great river run through the garden, and then the river split into four great rivers. Adam had all the animals for company in the garden. Wow. Uh, uh, excuse me. Adam's first job was to name all the animals. 
This new request from God sounds like it's quite a job. I'm going to be as busy as a, a bee. I've got to search my brain and come up with a name for every living, breathing thing I see. You with the large brown spots eating from treetops, your neck is the biggest part of you. Twisting round so easily, I believe your name will be Stretchy. Now that's pretty catchy. Or perhaps Giraffe will do. The jungle must belong to one so fierce and strong. I shiver and tremble at your growl. So you with the flowing mane, I give you the kingly name, Rory. No, that fits you poorly. Maybe lion is fine for now. Those flippy flappy things, I think I'll call them wings. And creatures they're attached to will be birds. The red breast will be robin, ostrich that big odd one. Parrot is the clawed one who repeats all my words. I'd say your fancy shell protects you very well, although it can slow you down a bit. So you with the scaly skin, I name you and all your kin. Pokey! Nah, too hokey. No, your wordle be turtle. Yeah, just right. The swimmers in the sea will mostly fishes be with whale and snail and lobster one and all. The orange one is goldfish, cod, the ice cold fish. Tadpole has the bold wish of one day being thrown. The way you jump around, you hardly touch the ground and scamper so fast you're just a blur. So you with the cotton tail, you'll be known on every trail as Hopper. No, that's not Hopper. Oh, I have it, your rabbit, for sure. It's still early in the day, and I'm well on my way to naming every animal I know. Why, there's only half a million more to go. Looks like you've got a dear friend. I'd like to have a friend, too. <sighs> there were many animals to name. Adam grew very tired of trying to decide what to call each one. Now, God looked down on Adam sleeping there in the garden, and Adam looked very alone. And God decided that Adam needed a companion, someone to be with. God decided it was time to make another person. So God created woman. What? Hello. Uh, hello. I mean, uh, hi. I mean... Ah, shucks. Where am I? You're in God's garden. The Garden of Eden. It's really nice here. You'll see. These are my friends. This is Monkey, and this is Dog. And this is... Um... I haven't named you yet, have I? Gee, I guess you need a name too, don't you? How do you like... Eve? Oh, it's lovely. Eve. I like it. And I like this place. Me too. You see, God made this garden for me. I mean, us, to live in. And everything's pretty, and you can eat anything you want, and... Not quite. Who was that? That was God. Oh. God's the one who made us. There is one fruit in all the garden that you may not eat. There is? 
This is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You may eat of anything else in the garden, but you may not eat the fruit from this tree. Okay, tree of knowledge of good and evil. No eating. Absolutely no eating. Right. Anything else in the garden is okay, but not that tree. Definitely not that tree. Right. <laughs> and so Adam and Eve lived very happily in the Garden of Eden until one day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue. Day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. Whoa. On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. something a little bit different. I thought you might enjoy the cartoon characters. Oh yes, I have somebody different. This is my other special fur baby. This is Amos. And Amos is an older dog. He's not a puppy like Andy. But we got him about the same time that we got Andy. And um, so yeah, he's another creation that we're very thankful for. So as we prepare to end today, let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for creating this wonderful world. For all the flowers, the plants, the birds, the trees, the animals. For these wonderful pets that you've given us. For our brothers and sisters and parents and teachers and 
everything, Lord, that you created. So thank you so very much. All right, boys and girls, let's all say amen together. Amen. Okay, until next week. Bye-bye.